Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Let's make this quick. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm going to try to not talk about nothing too negative. Right? <laughs> it's going to be hard, you know, seeing as though we voting and everything and it's a close run. Uh, I mean, close. Doesn't that tell you a whole lot about the country? Uh, that's close. Okay, but whatever. We'll leave that at that. Let's talk about something positive. Talking about Alexander Uzek. First of all, undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. Just beat Derek Chazur when Chazur was fit. Coming at him with about 30 pounds more weight. Right? Alexander Uzek don't do nothing but win. Regardless. Right? Whatever's in front of him. Alexander Uzek beat Michael Hunter. Who Tyson Fury right now doesn't want to fight. Right? Tyson Fury that's called up Agat Kabiel to fight instead of Deontay Wilder. That's who he called up. He didn't call up Ortiz. He didn't call up Michael Hunter. Kabiel. And everybody's going to be okay with that. But anyway, Alexander Uzik beat Michael Hunter in America. Joined the WBWS tournament. Beat Marco Hook. Marco Hook in Berlin. Believe me, that's his stomping grounds. In Berlin, Germany. Goes to Latvia. Beats Morris Bridis. Right? That's his stomping grounds. Goes to Russia. Beats Marek Gassiev. Right? Mark Gassiev, the guy who just knocked somebody out in one in the heavyweight division in one round the other day and knocked somebody out else out about a couple of months ago. Mark Gassiev, a whole bunch of bunch of punch of power, coached by uh, your boy Golovkin's uh, ex trainer. I forget his name right now. Sanchez, Ava Sanchez, right? Beat him. Then he goes and beat Tony Bellew. After Bellew beat David Hay twice. Now he's got you know beat the first heavyweight with Witherspoon, but then he beat uh, Chizura, who is resurgent. Chizura. Right? Nothing but win. So we sitting here talking about why, how he won, and it didn't look like this, it didn't look like this. Tell you what it looked like. It looked like his hand was raised after the fight. That's what it looked like. Right? We always wonder why these guys, you know, they're doing this, and it's going to be hard. He doesn't have that punching power. But what he does have is a heart to go to your backyard and beat you good enough, good enough that your judges in your backyard are going to vote for him. That's pretty awesome because let me tell you something. Why you people are complaining or like this and like that? Who else is doing that? Is your favorite fighter doing that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Some fighters, these all these famous ones, don't even leave their crib. Don't stay in the crib like babies, right in their crib. They ain't leaving at all. This guy does, right? So he's gonna always get forever respect for that. But now he's gonna probably fight somebody I roll with, and that would be Joseph Parker. I know Joseph Parker got two losses, but I ain't trying to hear that. They were both controversial. Dylan White was controversial. I'm not going to go into it again. Anthony Joshua was controversial, but I'm not going to leave it at that. I always like to say this because people don't know this, and I know the only three people come here. In the Joseph Parker versus Anthony Joshua fight, the referee could not speak English. Why would you do that? And then we all wondering why we couldn't get no infighting. Right? That's why. Because he couldn't say nothing other than break. Right? So, those are two laws for Joseph Parker. So, I roll with Joe. Bottom line. And Joseph Parker has come out and said that, listen, I'll take the fight. Well, at least David Higgins, his manager or promoter, you know, he, he was keen on that fight. He liked to take the fight against Ale Alexander Uzek if it's for the WBO strap. And seeing as though Joseph Parker has had this WBO strap for a minute, he should be worthy of that. He's number three in the WBO right now, which shit is not right because De Daniel Dubois is number two now. And Dubois should not be in front of Joseph Parker yet. Right? We know Daniel Dubois has skills. Not going to have skills, I don't know, but he's talented and he's going to knock you out. We know that. Right? But he's the, you know, his resume, not yet, is that of what Joseph Parker's is to have that record. So I think he should still be behind Joseph Parker, but... He should be moving. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that. Dubois should be in the top five or whatever in the WBO, but not in front of Joseph Parker. He is not deserving of the title fight more than Joseph Parker. That's what I'm trying to say. So if Joseph Parker gets the opportunity to fight Alexander Uzik, I'll be torn because I like both of them. You know, I didn't like Uzik at first, but I, you just have to acknowledge what he's done. And I just, it's unprecedented what Uzik has done. Joseph Parker, I wrote with Joseph Parker because he's soft-spoken and he handles way better than people say, think he is. Way better. And most of the people that I like throughout history in sport are way better, way better than people think they are. Lennox Lewis is way better than people think they, he is. He's not in the GOAT conversation in the heavyweight division. He's my GOAT. I know what I saw. Right? Monica Sellers, she's not mentioned in tennis. 
Baddest chick. Stop Steffi Graf. Don't let me. Hakeem Olajuwon. Best singer I've ever seen. I don't care what everybody else talking about. So things like that. And Joseph Parker is kind of like that. You know, it's like people just, oh, Joseph Parker this and Joseph Parker that. No. You're going to have to do something to beat some Joseph Parker. So if these two guys fight, I'm just going to sit back, let the best man win. I don't really want him to. I'd rather him fight somebody I don't like a little bit. But, you know, it is not like that. When you get to the top, you're going to have to fight who is going you have to fight. Alexander Uzek deserves the shot. For the, for the title. The only way Alexander Uzek should not get the WBO title is if Anthony Joshua, who I don't roll with, but Anthony Joshua, he fights for Undisputed against Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder, which is not excluded yet. If he fights for Undisputed, Undisputed is supposed to supersede any other things that's going down. And it should with all these damn belts we got. So that's the only way that he shouldn't uh, get a, uh, a title shot right away. But right after that undisputed fight, it's got to be Alexa Alexander Uzik. Or if, if uh, AJ vacates for some reason, then Alexander Uzik versus jo Joseph Parker. I'll be with it. It'll be a damn good fight. And we'll talk about it if it gets even if it's more than a rumor right now. Right now it's just, hey, Joseph Parker said I'll take that fight. Well, well, of course he would. Let's see what happens going forward. I think that's news. And I think that'll be a damn good fight. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And we up out of here, y'all.